So last year, Salamander and I came up with an idea of discussing the best wrestlers on a year-by-year -year basis. Last video did pretty well, so we decided to run it back. I'm KB Namar from WBB TV, and this is the best women wrestlers of 2022 so far. I'm a visionary, revolutionary. I'm a visionary, revolutionary. Number 10, Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan is one of the most underrated women in WWE. I feel WWE missed the punch to give Morgan a proper push or even a run with the title. Now Morgan is in a tag with Rhea Ripley that has some promise, but boy, would I love to see Liv Morgan get one more push as a single star. Number nine, Deanna Perrazzo. Perrazzo is a former WWE superstar who found enormous success in Impact Wrestling after her WWE run fell well below expectations. The 27-year-old native of New Jersey is the reigning Ring of Honor and AAA Reina Del Reina's champion, beating Fabi Apache for the title at Triple Mania 29 in August. Perrazzo defeated newly signed WWE superstar Roxy to become the Ring of Honor Women's Champion. Number 8. Naomi. One of the most athletically gifted women's wrestlers on the roster, Naomi has come leaps and bounds from her days as a Funkadactyl and she's posed a serious threat to the reigning women's champions at time. Starting the year off settling her long-term feud with Sonya Deville to rekindle a friendship with Sasha Banks, forming a tag where the duo will win the WWE Women's Tag Team titles. Naomi is too good to finish her career on two SmackDown Women's Championship reigns. Hopefully WWE will give Naomi another proper run with either the Raw or SmackDown Women's title. Number seven, Dr. Britt Baker. You can't make stars if you don't feature them on television, and the doctor has been carrying AEW women's division, putting on McMarvelous matches against Thunder Rosa, even having the bravery to bleed. Holding the AEW women's title for a year before dropping it to Thunder Rosa during an AEW TV St. Patrick's Day special, her run as champion just shows how much heel Britt Baker rules. Number 6. Thunder Rosa. Thunder Rosa is probably the easiest woman outside of Britt Baker to become a star in AEW. She already has the following, the unique look, and she can go in the ring. Most of Rosa's matches are intense and hard hitting, and she's an unstoppable force that's always willing to win no matter how much pain she has to endure. Thunder Rosa is a versatile worker who has the ability to adapt to each of her opponents. Rosa has delivered some excellent matches in AEW, most notably her AEW Women's Title win on Dynamite. Number 5, Jade Cargill. The moment Jade Cargill debuted on AEW, we knew AEW had big plans for her. From the start, people saw the potential Cargill could have if booked right. It also helps that she has the looks of a Greek goddess and fans were immediately fascinated by her. Her debut started off on the wrong foot with a few with Brandy Rose and a not so good promo from her, but one thing AEW does well is highlight the positives and improve the negatives on their roster. Partnering up with Brian Danielson to improve her in-ring work, Jade continues to show improvement on the mic and in-ring event locking in submissions. Becoming the first TBS champion and also having an undefeated record is the reason she ranks so high. Number four, Toxic Attraction. From slipping at WrestleMania, to dyeing her hair brunette, to aligning herself with newly signed superstars Gigi Dolan and JC Jane, Toxic Attraction breathed new life into a floundering NXT women's division. It didn't take this group long to become the undisputed era of the women's division, holding all the gold. Mandy Rose has come leaps and bounds from where she was on the main roster, and her and this new super group may be ready for the main roster. And if NXT is the blueprint to how they will be booked on the main roster, I can see Toxic Attraction on SmackDown with all the gold once again. Number three, Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch is the only woman in history to become a top face in WWE. That's thanks to her unique character, her charisma, her promos, and her in-ring skills. 
Big Time Bex has delivered some of the best women's matches in WWE history. For example, the main event match against Charlotte Flair and Ronda Rousey, and her recent showdown with Bianca Belair. Number two, Charlotte Flair. Certainly, Charlotte Flair inherited her father's talents. Perhaps she's not the most charismatic woman, but in terms of in-ring skills, the queen is the complete package. One of the most dominating women on SmackDown holding down this women's division on the blue brand for about eight months now. With Bayley being out, it seems like no one would dethrone the queen anytime soon. Number one, Bianca Belair. The EST truly broke out in January when she won the 2021 Women's Royal Rumble match to earn a Women's Championship bout at WrestleMania 37. Belair went on to challenge Sasha Banks for the SmackDown Women's title in a match that main evented night one of WrestleMania 37. Belair prevailed in an instant classic, marking her first title win of any kind in WWE. Things seemed to get rocky when a returning Becky Lynch squashed Belair, but seeing her bounce back and finally defeat Becky at the most stupendous show of all sports entertainment just shows that WWE can tell a proper redemption story. What do you guys think about our list? Do you agree? If not, let us know who you will have up here instead. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to become a member of the WBP TV family. Once again, I'm KB the Mark, signing off. Until the next one. I started with nothing and came out of king. Came out of king. Yeah. I've been the one that's been balling for rings. I've been the one that's been balling for rings. It's been me and my team and we chasing the green. My team be the shit, we ain't ballin' for free. Ballin for free. Yeah. My team be the shit, we ain't ballin' for free.